So uh, we are right inside Bhutan now. We just crossed the border and came inside. And there is a small market here that is Galefu Market. So uh, we are going to walk inside Galefu Market and you can experience it. So if you are in Bhutan is a vast country. We are not planning to explore Bhutan completely today. We will have another trip to Bhutan later, but you can explore Galofu Market with me now. Let's go. We were on our way back from Gohati in Assam. A signboard that read 38 kilometers to Bhutan changed our course of path. We decided to touch Bhutan before we continue to West Bengal. On our way to Bhutan was a wide river with comparatively less water. We stopped there to experience the river and watch the fishermen there. We are very close to Bhutan now in Assam. We are traveling towards Bhutan border, Bhutan India border. And this one is a crystal clear river. This is a small river, water is very less but very clear and very clean. So I am going to uh, wash my face using this water. It's very fresh. Really very refreshing. Oh, nice feeling, very good feeling. The fishermen moved from one spot to the other for casting their nets. However, we did not find them catching much of fish. Soon, we crossed the Indian border and reached the entrance to Bhutan. At the gate, we completed the formalities quickly and drove into the Himalayan niche. We had no plans to explore Bhutan but visit the nearby market, Galefu Market. Unlike any of the Indian markets, Galefu Market was calm and quiet. The place was not crowded. In the center of the market was a clock tower that looked unique by design. And nearby the clock tower was a Buddhist temple. We further walked within the market to see a South Indian restaurant. Of course, we tried the famous South Indian dosha there. Though the market was less crowded, it was colorful. Shops sold red chilies, dry fish, arakanuts, and food grains.
there were also shops selling buddha idols and buddhist prayer materials Later we saw a football ground where kids were practicing. Close to the ground was another Buddha temple with giant prayer wheels and idols. That was a short walk in Galepu market in Bhutan. Bhutan is our neighboring country to India and we just drove in maybe another five minutes we drove inside and we got this market. It's a beautiful market. We won't feel that it's a market. So calm and so quiet. Very less number of people. We can't compare this market with any other markets in India because in India we have huge population. Whenever we go to market it's a lot of crowd, a lot of sound but here it's very serene, very perfect. I enjoyed this place. Now, by the way, if you did not subscribe John Monkey, please do subscribe now and happy traveling.